Long before the cheeseburger, it was here in London that a more British fast food was invented. We're not talking about fish and chips. This is pie and mash, a simple dish of a beef pie and mashed potato served with a liquor sauce made with fresh parsley. You would traditionally find this dish served up in one of the many pie shops that dot working class parts of the city. But they're fighting for survival and the families who run them are working hard to keep this Cockney classic alive. The difference between a good pie and a bad pie. Good ingredients first. If you haven't got that, it's trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, which doesn't really work. So you must have the good ingredients and then you have to make it properly. You have to make it as it should be. So it's got plenty of meat, a nice drop of juice in it, good um, short crust pastry, and then bake it properly in a, in a bloody good oven. And Bob's your uncle, you'll end up with good pie. Pie houses first opened offering cheap but wholesome food in blue collar parts of London back in mid Victorian times. And leading the charge were two immigrant families, both newcomers to the city. The Manzas from Ravello in Italy and the Cooks from Wicklow in Ireland. They quickly expanded their pie and mash empires and almost a century and a half later, some of their pie shops are still in business today. I don't know if you can call it special, it's just that it's still, after 150 odd years, a good, solid, basic meal. There's no additives or colours or anything. Over the past 25 years, the fortunes of this part of London have changed. The docks shut and older, more traditional industries disappeared. New high-tech businesses, startups and developers moved in. Property prices and rents soared and many locals moved away. Plus, new immigrant communities have brought their own tastes and flavours and taken on the humble pie. Many, many years ago, in the high streets and the markets, you would have had a cafe, a fish and chip shop and a pie shop. The competition now is almost limitless. Consequently, all our portions of the pie have got smaller. 25 years ago, there were close to 60 pie and mash shops in London. Now, there are barely 20 left, all of whom have to find new ways to adapt to survive. We now do uh, a vegan pie. I tweaked it so it's vegan now. They can actually come in and eat with their friends, which is nice. Social media has played a big part in spreading the magic of pie and mash around the world and now brings tourists looking for a slice of traditional, old working class London to places like Cook's and Manzas, hopefully helping to ensure that they survive for many years to come. I saw a YouTube video about this place and uh, how they serve jelly eels and, and they had a whole process of how the pies are made, so that looked really nice. I'm really grateful that uh, this place has survived for so long that we can come all the way from Singapore to try this uh, like traditional uh, blue collar English food. Who needs a Michelin star when you can have homemade pie like this served with love and a big dollop of mash? We have people coming literally now from the four corners of the world and they come in and they walk in and go, oh, Joe, can we have a picture with you? And they've come, some of them come straight from the airport. It's, it's unreal. It is absolutely unreal. Look at the juice coming out, look at that. 